बेस्ट टीचर्स के गाइडेंस में पढ़ना इजीयर होगा एग्जाम लाइफ अब से हर स्टूडेंट विनर होगा समझ आएगा तो मजा वेदांत लर्न लाइव ऑनलाइन टू अटेंड अ फ्री लाइव क्लास डाउनलोड दी एप नाउ Hi everyone good evening good evening students i am ankita sharma your math teacher of biology and everyone i welcome you in this amazing doubt series now your exams are coming up and you had lots of doubts throughout the years aapne acche se padhai ki hai par kahi kahi jagah pe hum sabhi ko kuch na kuch doubts hote hain to bachcho this series is for all those doubts अगर आपको डाउट्स हैं तो आप कमेंट सेशन में लिख सकते हैं एंड वी विल बी हैप्पी टू टेक अप दोज डाउट एंड ऑफ कोर्स डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट अ क्लास बट बिफोर डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर अमेजिंग नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ चैनल ऑफ वेदांत लेट स्टार्ट आर क्लास एवरी वन So today, in today's class, everyone, we are doing the fundamental unit of life and the tissue. So we took up two chapters, in which definitely there are a lot of questions, and we pick up those questions. But जो जहाँ पे आपने हमारे पुराने वीडियोस पे कहीं कमेंट किया है कि मैम इसमें डाउट है, ठीक है? तो वो वाले क्वेश्चन सबने लिए हैं. अगर आपको diversity में या फिर next chapter जो हमारा है, why do we fall ill? अगर उसमें doubt है तो प्लीज आप इस वीडियो के कमेंट सेक्शन में लिख दीजिएगा वो डाउट्स हम नेक्स्ट वीडियो में लेंगे ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट क्लास एवरीवन विद द फ्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बीन आस्ड बाय यू पीपल एंड ऑफ कोर्स योर नेम विल बी फीचर्ड ओवर हियर लेट्स सी एवरीवन सी डेड पूल ने एक महीने पहले हमसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछा था मैम वॉट इज अमी पॉमिएबल मेमरेन विद लॉट्स ऑफ नमस्ते ओके इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर ढूंढते बच्चों सेमी पर्मीबल मेम्ब्रेन हमारी प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन होती है जो अलाउ करती है फ्यू मॉलिक्यूल्स टू मूव इन एंड आउट इन अ वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इज अ सिलेक्टिवली सेमी पर्मीबल मेम्ब्रेन व्हिच विल अलाउ द मॉलिक्यूल्स टू मूव इन एंड आउटसाइड ऑफ द सेल राइट लेट्स सी व्हाट वी हैव इन द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड व्हाट यू कैन राइट इन योर एग्जाम टू स्कोर टू मार्क्स फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन सी एवरीवन दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी कमिंग अप टू हियर and a question we have framed in our mcqs way and you can pick the right answer a membrane that permits the permits anything to pass through sab kuch jata hai nahi humne bola tha selectively permeable uske baad mein hai semi permeable bol sakte hain a membrane that allow does not permit anything to pass through a membrane that permits certain substances to pass through or a membrane that permits only gases to pass through so the right option to this question will be what everyone a semi permeable membrane is a membrane that will allow certain molecules to pass through only certain set of molecules will be able to cross through the semi permeable membrane or also called as selectively permeable membrane right yes everyone right this is an easy question everyone and of course we had the solution the question is the what is a semi permeable membrane and the answer is option number c great let's see question number 2 everyone on the screen okay why do meristematic cells lack vacuoles so interesting question asked by kishan in plant tissues among nine series ab ye question interesting hai to question humse ye bas ye pooch raha hai ki meristematic tissues mein vacuoles kyu nahi hote so we know everyone meristematic tissue is a tissue which helps in the rapid growth division karta hai and it keeps on increasing the size of the plant growth of a plant and keep on adding the new nodes branches internodes theek hai so we are sure that what are the functions of the meristematic tissues now just imagine if they have to divide and they have to work very fast they don't have time to store thing and the role of a vacuole everyone is that they are present in the cells to store something so i hope you got the answer if not let's see over here everyone so meristematic cells lacks vacuoles because a they are animal cells they constantly divide they do not divide anymore and vacuoles don't play an important role in plant cells we know what is the right option everyone we know that meristematic tissues have a cell wall have a nucleus and definitely have a cytoplasm 
okay they don't have a vehicle because they don't require it right everyone can you see can you see everyone over here i will underline everyone see this okay typically consists of a lot of cell sap cell sap the fluid that we have okay which provides a rigidity right but 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 if it is present in the meristematic cells it will be coming during the division once the meristematic cells will be dividing the sap the whole vacuole will be coming in between hence they don't have it it will cause the hindrance in the it will cause the hindrance in the division of the cells and that will create a lot of problems for our meristematic cells to divide hence meristematic tissues don't have the vacuoles in them and question number b sorry option number b will be the right answer that they constantly divide and because of that they don't required the vacuoles let's see question number 3 everyone before that everyone we are being so proud that these students were there with us and who have secured amazing ranks in their board examination look at the percentage we have if you want to be here on the slide and if you want to excel in your life with great percentage everyone here we are right vedant is a place for you everyone where we have such an amazing teacher gopal sir teaches you maths anubhav ma'am teaches you chemistry abhishek sir your favorite everyone teaches you physics and then me i teaches you biology all of your all of these teachers are your super favorite and they work really very hard for you so that you can get great marks in your examination let's see everyone now the question number 3 How does the xylem tells the age of a plant? Asked by Tanuj. Okay, four months ago, they asked us. The question is that the plants in the annual rings tell us the age of the plant. So, how is the xylem actually helping us to tell us the age? Let's find out the answer, everyone. See, can you see xylem and phloem? These rings are being made by the xylem and the phloem. Okay, sorry. Let's go back. Yeah. Can you see xylem and phloem are present? Okay, and with the age, everyone they just they start actually just start 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 moving away from the center, and they keep on adding one or more ring in each year. Hence, they are actually helping to make the annual rings. Everyone, take a screenshot of this. The xylem and the phloem tissues basically helps in the rings formation. Okay. and when we see this rings we can actually tell the age xylem helps in the transportation of the water and the minerals whereas the phloem helps in the transportation of food xylem works in only one direction that is from roots to all the plants whereas phloem is unidirectional no sorry it's bidirectional okay so here's the solution everyone as you can see slowly slowly the extra ring will be added so that the age of a plant can be determined okay let's see question number 4 everyone and it's a pretty lengthy question it was asked in tissue midterm revision and it was asked by ahmed okay asked by ahmed long list of questions let's see what are the questions here we have where do tissues originate from what are actin and myosin what are tendon so let's see everyone the first question is that why like what is the origin of the tissues now tissues and cells basically originate from the germ cell everyone during our the growing region we all of the humans arise from the three different layers okay these different layers are called as ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm endo means inside meso means in middle and ecto means outside so this different layers give rise to different types of cells and different types of tissues so first question is done next part was about the myosin and actin myosin and actin are the proteins which are found in our muscles which helps in the contraction of the muscles they are the important important components of our muscles and because of them we can move our hands legs and all the muscles very very smoothly so everyone here is a written text so that you can use it in your examination though 
this particular topic ectin and myosin have not mentioned in our CBSE but definitely it is there in your class 11 so an extra information will always help you so you can take a screenshot of this everyone okay can you see this is the ectin and this is the myosin you will be learning about it in your future classes so I will not be teaching you right now okay now the uh, Ahmed asked about the tendons also so everyone the right way to remember the tendon is that tendon is a one thing okay it's a part of connective tissue which joins muscle to bone everyone it's M V it's join the muscle and the bone okay muscle to the bone bone to bone is ligament so remember this everyone bone to bone ligament and muscle to bone is always the tendon see everyone okay a tendon is a tough hard band of fibrous connective tissue that connects the muscle to the bone everyone okay remember that muscle to the bone it is present over here okay if you uh, if you take your you know if you move your ankle if you move like over here this is happening why because muscle is being over here bone is over here so it has been pulled okay let's see what we have next everyone see can you see this everyone micro cores so this is a lot of description please read it properly and I'm moving aside what we have to do everyone over here you just have to download the Vedantu app that is there you have to select your grade and you can choose any free class the webinars that we have everyone then what you have to do then you have to share the screenshot of it that you are watching it where you have to share and link basically what you're doing for example you're watching a master class take a screenshot of it and of course you can actually link of the micro course that you that you want and you can email it to this particular email ID if you're doing everyone you will get a confirmation coupon code and you can get that micro course for just one rupee can you imagine Ek rupee mein aajkal dairy milk nahi aati hai we have the amazing micro courses and what are micro courses for example aapko tissues mein doubt hai so well good please join the micro course where we'll be teaching you only that chapter right amazing agar pura padna hai to we have the crash course also for your ninth standard right this is test series ho rahi hai bahut doubt discussions hai and definitely pura course cover complete hoga so this is amazing everyone micro courses are there and apart from them we have the crash course in which we will be finishing off our class 9 syllabus at very good speed and before your examination let's see so you can use the coupon code is a n k c c everyone please use this code a n k c c this is a link everyone and can you imagine the price has been reduced to 5700 everyone do give it a try and we'll be happy to see you here let's come ahead and let's see question number five the question number five is where is dna present in the mitochondria asked by g chinmay so we know that everyone mitochondria and plastids are the organelles which will have their own dna and they can make their own protein so let's see where we have the dna inside the mitochondria everyone if you see over here the mitochondria have the circular DNA okay they have the circular DNA and this DNA is present in the inner membrane can you see the inner cystase the inner folds that we have they have the mitochondria this is an outer wall okay this is an inner space in that inner space we have cisterns or the folded region in this folded region everyone we will be having the mitochondrial DNA so I hope Jin, uh, Chinmay will got the answer okay and everyone so these are the list of the series for example if you're seeing my video for the first time and if you want if you want to revise your course again everyone this is a Omang class series that we did it for you people in which we have taken up whole chapter and we are studying it okay Omang series is there then after that we have the sprint biology series so you can go over there and check these links out then we have the crash course see Abhishek sir crash course is there then we have Sundar sir classes midterm exam we have all the tricks 
this is for mid term classes everyone and of course we have doubt series of all of your amazing teachers abhishek sir will be taking your doubts on 13th of january which is gone 21st january and 28th january anubhav ma'am is there see 23rd january and 30th january and then gopal sir oh my god look at the schedule everyone he is working so hard for you so please come to the classes regularly like the video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel and here are we so everyone if you have any doubt if you have any any doubt in the diversity in the living organism and why do we fall ill please write in the comment section below and we will be doing it in the next class with that everyone we are done with today's class thank you everyone for watching the video don't forget to hit the bell icon so you know that when we are putting up an amazing video for you apart from it that everyone thank you so much i will be seeing you in the next class bye bye